Hi guys, welcome back to the Any Aquatics YouTube channel and today we are here to unbox some live cichlids from Snake River Cichlids. Um, they got here probably close to an hour ago so we're just going to get into this and see how these guys are doing in here. Just an informational little pamphlet. Always nice. Let's pull that out and to the fish straight away. First look. Some nice recycled newspaper insulation. Make sure you rinse that off when you put that in your tank. Wow. This is our lemon jake, young male. Oh, he's so cute. I love wow. him. Crazy looking. Young breeder dragon blood. What's next? Hopefully he's not too freaked out by the <laughs> bright lights, but <clears throat> this is a blue dragon blood. Blood. Young male. Oh, now we get into the fun. The best two for last. We ordered an OB grab bag, so these are mystery fish. We don't know what they are. It's hard to tell he with the lights. Like he looks like he bag. might have some orange on him, but he looks great. So he's in an OB Ooh, grab bag. Yeah. He's crazy. Wow. They look fantastic. So that's the fish that we got. We're gonna go ahead and acclimate them right away since they've been in shipping process and we'll get to that. So here we are just catching the baby raspberry OB peacocks and bristlenose plecos that are in the 29 gallon so that way we can quarantine the new snake river cichlids that we just got. All of the babies from the 29 gallon are going into the 40 breeder that's on the top of our tank rack because it's now cycled. While we're doing all of this, the new cichlids are acclimating in a warm tank just so that way their water can warm up because they've been in shipment for a whole day.
we decided to go ahead and do a water change just to make sure that the tank was nice and clean for the new fish. Okay guys, so we're back. We've had the fish acclimating here for about 30 minutes and we moved the OB raspberry fry and some baby bristlenose plecos that we had and we moved them to the 40 breeder up top and some of the baby bristlenose plecos and moved around some other tanks, but we're gonna go ahead and cut the bags open and put the fish in the tank. We'll go ahead and start off with the OB grab bag. That was the first one closest to me. Looks like he's got some yellow, orange, and blue to him. So next one we'll go ahead and do one that's been freaking out a bunch. The blue dragon blood. He's a two and a half to three inch young male. And he's already shown a lot of color for his size. He may be a little bit bigger than his listing, but can't complain about that. I just got We're going to go ahead and get the two and a half to three inch Lemon Jake, young male. He doesn't really seem like he's shown much color already, but you can see that he's definitely a male. I can see the blue coming in. He looks stressed, so that happens. Next up, oh, the OB grab bag. So, very cool one here. Last but not least, we have the dragon blood. He is a three to four inch young breeder male, so he's a little bit bigger than the other ones, other than the OB grab bags. Those were 
relatively around this size. So we have everyone in the tank now. I'm going to go ahead and throw the bags away. And we're going to go ahead and get some closer shots of them, show you what they look like. So this is what they look like in the quarantine tank. We'll be sure to update you guys on when we move them into their permanent homes and the bigger main tanks. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like and a nice comment to let us know. It really helps us out. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. We'll see you soon.